Herkese merhaba. Hi guys. It's Funda from Turkish Le and today I've come up with the best video ever because we are going to be talking about the most common phrases in Turkish dramas. And I know that you're in love with Turkish dramas and we're gonna have fun a lot. All right. So let's get started. But before, do not forget to subscribe our channel and like the video. So let's get started. Kendine gel. It means pull yourself together. But with this intonation, we say kendine gel without laughing, of course. Imagine that you're in a situation that your friend is in love with a guy and she sees the guy and she doesn't know what to do and she's saying ne yapacağım bilmiyorum I don't know what to do and you're saying kendine gel pull yourself together come on so we use it a lot especially in the Turkish dramas you can hear this a lot literally a lot Kontrolünü kaybettin toparlan kendine gel Kontrolünü kaybettin toparlan kendine gel Kendine gel and the next one ellerine sağlık it means god bless your hands we love using this so much guys i think this phrase is attached with our culture because imagine your mom cooks for you every day and every day whenever we eat we say ellerine sağlık it doesn't matter who cooks for you we always say ellerine sağlık and with the formal way we say ellerinize sağlık or plural way we can say and it's pretty common ways to say we use it every day you can hear from every Turkish person because it's pretty kind and not only we use when we eat we use either like in a few cases first we use this phrase before eating and when your mother cooks for you before start eating we say ellerine sağlık or formal way ellerinize sağlık or when you finish eating you can say again ellerine sağlık or ellerinize sağlık or in different case for example someone painted something for you or someone did a job for you you say ellerine sağlık if that person does that with their hands it doesn't have to be with the hands but related at least so we use this a lot and everywhere Balkabağ çorbası o kadar çok severim ki Gülben ellerine sağlık Balkabağ çorbası o kadar çok severim ki Gülben ellerine sağlık Of balığa bak ya of, ellerinize sağlık vallahi ellerinize sağlık Of balığa bak ya Ellerinize sağlık, vallahi ellerinize sağlık. And related to this phrase, we have afiyet olsun. It means bon appetit or enjoy your meal. You can hear from everyone, literally, from all Turkish dramas. I'm sure in in all Turkish dramas they are eating and they say afiyet olsun and ellerine sağlık. This is an answer and they actually like you say ellerine sağlık and they always answer like afiyet olsun enjoy your meal this is like an answer <laughs> and imagine that there are still people eating and they are dishes and you say you finish eating and you say afiyet olsun or size afiyet olsun or sana afiyet olsun with the informal way so size is formal and sana is informal or you can say for plural too with size so when you finish eating you can use this phrase it means that I finish eating and enjoy your meal. And the next phrase, Allah korusun. Allah is God. And Allah korusun, korumak is to protect. Allah korusun, God forbid. We use this a lot too. Allah korusun. And when we are scared of something, for example, we talk about a car crash and your friend is talking about a car crash and you say, and we knock on the door or whatever something table and we say Allah korusun and this is a superstition that we use a lot we do this and we knock on the door or whatever and we say Allah korusun when we are scared of something we use it a lot Allah korusun Keşke diyorum daha beter hasta olsam da ellerine düşsem yine Allah korusun Keşke diyorum daha beter hasta olsam da ellerine düşsem yine Allah korusun Bana bak 
It means look at me or look here. And we use it with the intonation like bana bak. And you can do it with different intonations actually. You can say bana bak with the kind of like curious way. And when you know that there is something tricky going on there. Or when you're angry, you can say bana bak or whatever. In different cases, you can change your intonation and you can say bana bak. Bana bak dayı, ben senin unutacağın adamlardan değilim. Bana bak dayı, ben senin unutacağın adamlardan değilim. And the next one. Yok artık. Yok artık. It means no way. I'll be hanged, we can say. So when you're surprised about something that you don't even believe in your eyes, like you say yok artık. Oh my god, yok artık. Or we also say inanmıyorum. Yok artık. I don't I can't believe it. <laughs> really? Oh my gosh, we say. So, yok artık is pretty common phrase that we use in Turkey and you can see them in Turkish dramas as well. Ay yok artık. Akşam 8 diyorsun. Güzel. Ay yok artık. Akşam 8 diyorsun. Güzel. Kes sesini. It means shut up. <laughs> And can you please just put the Hurram scene here because I love her so much. I do love this series, Turkey series, guys. I recommend to you. It's magnificent century and it's so good. All right, kes sesini is shut up in Turkish. Kes, it means to cut and ses is voice. And it's like cut your voice and shut up. All right, so kes sesini is pretty common to use when you're angry to someone as if you want to say shut up, you can use it everywhere. Kes sesini mahi devran. Konuştukça batıyorsun. Kes sesini mahi devran. Konuştukça batıyorsun. Azra, seni son kez uyarıyorum. Kes sesini. Azra, seni son kez uyarıyorum. Kes sesini. Saçmalama. It means don't be ridiculous. Really? Saçmalama. So saçmalama means like, as I said, don't be ridiculous. When someone tells you something that like annoys you, you can say saçmalama. For example, she says, um, if you have a girlfriend or if you have a boyfriend, when she says that you did something that you would never ever do, you say saçmalama, don't talk like that, come on. So we use this a lot when we are angry to someone and when someone tells us something that is that can annoy us and we can't believe in that, we say like saçmalama, what are you talking about? We use this a lot, saçmalama. And you can change your intonation and you can say saçmalama, oh my god, like two minutes. Nihal saçmalama, makyajım bozulacak. Nihal saçmalama, makyajım bozulacak. And these ones, we use them a lot and let's say both of them. Sana ne and bana ne. Okay, sana ne, it actually includes sen in it, which is you. It means it's none of your business. Like, it's none of your business. Sana ne. For example, when someone tells you something like mm, she says or he says, why did you do it like that? And you say, sana ne. It's none of your business. And we use it a lot in everywhere. And you can hear from every Turkish person when you come to Turkey or even in Turkish dramas a lot of times. We use it a lot. Sen niye geldin ki buraya? Sana ne? Sen niye geldin ki buraya? Sana ne? And bana ne? Bana ne means that's not my problem. It's not my problem, sorry. I don't care about it. And bana ne? Bana ne? With the slang, a little bit swear words, we can say I don't give a shit. So bana ne? We use it a lot when we don't care about something, when we think that it's not our problem and we don't want to be in it anymore. So we say bana ne? It's none of my business. I don't give a shit. I don't care. Herkes duysun ulan. Seviyorum. And the next one. Allah Allah. Allah Allah. 
<laughs> this is funny guys because according to your intonation the meaning can change and you can use it in different occasions literally so let's see Allah 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 means God you know Allah Allah is like heavens or we can say oh gosh Allah Allah but let's see first when someone tells you something that when you're so surprised you say for example she says did you know that she got married and you say Allah Allah it means that you're really curious and you didn't know about it you're like oh my god Allah Allah and when people in the past when the soldiers were going to the war they were saying Allah Allah but but not with this intonation they were saying like here <laughs> like Allah, 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 and when they go to war, they were using it a lot and they were saying that a lot. And another intonation, when you're angry to someone, you say Allah, Allah, it means like, oh my God, I'm done with it, literally, Allah, Allah. So we use this a lot too. And also we use it with the different intonation and with the different occasion, when someone tells you something like, Mm, kind of either tricky or about their relationships for example she says ah you know we go on a date and you say Allah Allah and you can change your intonation about it too so you can use Allah Allah even though it seems like it's conservative we use it a lot in different occasions so Allah Allah Çocuk istiyorum. Hemen şimdi burada. Allah Allah. Çocuk istiyorum. Hemen şimdi burada. Allah Allah. I hope you like the video, guys. And these phrases is going to help you a lot because I'm sure at least one of them from all of these phrases you heard you have heard before if you watch Turkish dramas because in Turkey we use them a lot literally when you come to Turkey or if you have a Turkish friend online or on the internet you're going to see or you're going to realize that we use them a lot everyday talk literally so you might hear them a lot and I recommend you to use them if you want to sound like a native speaker so I hope you enjoyed the video and do not forget to subscribe our channel and like the video guys and if you leave us a comment about any common word or any common phrase that you know uh, except for them we will be so happy see you in the next video görüşürüz